Hi, we're in South Daytona Beach, Florida at Hangsters. 69 Nova. Probably the best color in the whole world you could ever have one, bright red. It is an SS car. Under the hood we have the original 350 engine that came with this car. Factory air conditioning, power steering, all the original hoses, type hoses, they've been replaced certainly through the years, that go with the air conditioning and the heater that's still functional on this vehicle. High capacity radiator, brand spanking new battery in it. The engine compartment is just the way it left the factory in 1969. Fantastic, fantastic engine compartment on this car. Fender wells are still their original semi-flat black finish. Car's never been bumped anywhere. Everything on this speaks originality for the uh, radiator core support, the grill, the, the bumper, which is still the original chrome on it. Everything on this car is original. Under the hood is absolutely fantastic. Okay, across the front end of our 69 Nova. Uh, the paint on the hood is absolutely beautiful. Looks like the day it left the factory, it's not chipped up or marked up anywhere. I don't even see any superficial chips on the nose of it. Trim's very nice, no nicks or marks on it. Louvers on the uh, hood. The chrome is absolutely flawless on it. Most of them have some pitting in them on the chrome that, uh, you know, through the years it just shows pitting. These have to been replaced because there is absolutely none. They are as new as they were when they were, when they would have left the factory. Grill on the car, black SS grill with SS designation. Uh, no pieces missing. It's an egg crate type grill, plastic and it's just as it was when it was new. Original chrome front bumper. It's not a re-chrome, not a remanufactured bumper. It appears to be the original chrome bumper that this car was released with. Even the end pieces here that are usually all marked up and chipped up from stones just as they were when they were new. This is uh, Argent uh, Silver, the filler panel, the way it was when it was released in 1969 and still the way it looked when it was new. Front uh, parking lights, nice and clear, shiny, bright. Uh, the whole front end of this car, the fitment of the hood, across the cowl area, across this side. Uh, you'd need a micrometer to find a deviation in the fitment of this hood. It's that nice. Very, very nice fit on the nose of this car. Okay, down the driver's side, we do have the original style uh, door edge guard uh, uh, molding that goes down the entire length of this car so that you don't get door chips in it, dings, marks from people throwing doors open. 350 designation on the front. Marker light is just as nice as you could ever hope to be. Tall area, like we originally stated, it's just as, as it was when it was new. Nice fitment, Nova. Uh, name on the side, rally wheels. Fantastic wheel combination on this vehicle. Everyone wants rally wheels. Original wiper arms and blades. Tinted windshield. The car does have air conditioning, so it would have a tinted windshield. Everyone ordered that as the option. Trim around the front window. I don't see any marks or chips or anything in it. Nothing. Uh-oh. Found a stone chip. A little tiny stone chip right there we have to brush touch. It's the only chip I've found so far. Driver's mirror is just as nice as can be. A little tiny bit of patina on the, uh, on the stock here. You can feel it. You really can't see it, but it's there. No marks in the roof. No dings of any type. Uh, no scrapes or scratches. Door handles are absolutely fantastic. You can see the fitment of the door. From the uh, front fender to the uh, door is just as nice as could possibly fit. Same thing with the uh, door to the quarter panel and down uh, to the rocker panel. And the molding itself along the bottom is just nice and fresh looking, no dents or dings or anything on it. All the trim around your windows, tinted glass in this car, the whole way around also. Um, all this aluminum anodized uh, trim around the windows is just as it was when it was new. The uh, whiskers, wipes, whatever. You want to call them, they're just as fresh and nice as could possibly be. I think they are original too. Don't need to be replaced. Quarter panel, 
straight as can be, no marks on the edges from anyone opening doors on. Trim around the back window, same as the front, no marks, there's nothing to feel or see on it. Quarter panel, no dings, no chips down below, absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing anywhere. The side of this car is laser straight. Again, you know, looking at it from this angle here, about a 30 degree angle, I don't see any gaps for the doors. It looks like it's solid the whole way. You have to come out further and really look just to see the gaps. That's how nicely the fitment is of the door and quarter and fenders on this car. Really great looking car to driver's side. Let's look at the back. Okay, around the back end of our Nova SS, you can see the gaps on the rear deck mimic the uh, hood just as nice as can possibly be. Fitment is absolutely gorgeous on this vehicle. Absolutely gorgeous. Back panel, trim around the uh, tail lights, which are nice and shiny and clean yet. SS designation on the back. This flat black section on the back, the way an SS came, absolutely flawless. Bumper fitment, again, get the micrometer out if you want to find a deviation on it. Nice as could possibly be fitting. Chrome appears to be on this one as the front one appears to be the original chrome on the bumpers. I, I don't see any reason to uh, suspect otherwise. Nova designation on the back, again, like I said, the SS. Back end of this car, I haven't found a stone chip or a mark yet. Still looking though. Okay, passenger side quarter panel, moving forward. Side marker light, nice and clear. Again, no dings or marks. Trim around the window, same as the other side. Absolutely not. Hatch shelf, two aftermarket speakers in it, but the hatch shelf appears to be as it was when it was new. Quarter panel, fender lip, still no dings or marks. Roof, same as the other side, no marks, no dings, no nothing on this guy. Door fitment, really, I mean, <laughs> that's insane for a Nova. I love these rail wheels, they really add a, add a look to this car. Nice bright trim around the windows, and a little tiny bit of a ding there, I don't know what's from. A couple little dings right here on this piece of trim around the uh, passenger side uh, door window, top part. Size good, you really got to look to see them, but they're there, just so you know. Door handle nice. It's Possibly could be. Whiskers, wipes, the front and back windows uh, appear to be original and they absolutely do not need replaced. They're really fresh and nice looking. Even the fitment over the uh, door where the uh, stainless rolls over the door is nice, nice and tight. Rubber around the uh, wings is nice. Front door, or the front of the door to the fender. Really, really nice on the car. Around the front window, same as the other side. I, I, this is crazy. I really can't find anything on this car. One little tiny stone chip right here on the other side, and that's it. I haven't found another mark on this car other than that. 350 on the nose. I can't, I can't find anything other than that one little mark. That's it. A couple little dingies here. We'll check the undercarriage out here shortly in the video, Rich will show you, but, and we'll do an interior one so you know. 69 SS Style Nova, bright red, black interior, automatic. Steering, factory air, 350, rally wheels. I can't see any paintwork on the car. If this car has been repainted, I don't know when and how because I really don't see any indications that the car has been taken apart and painted. I find it hard to believe that since 1969 this car survived with this style of paint on it and this nice of finish. It does have a little tiny bit of factory indication that it does have some orange peel in it, you know, so it could possibly be the original paint on this car. I can't find any overspray, I can't find any indications that it's been painted, but all I can tell you is there's one little tiny stone chip and that's it. You got an absolutely fantastic 69 Nova. Okay, we're inside of our 1969 SS Style Nova. Uh, automatic on a column. Air conditioning, original vent still intact. I, I, this car is amazing. Uh, the the uh, headliner is the original headliner in this, from what I can see, and the sun visors. 
and they're just as they were when they were new. There's no marks on the uh, dashboard. Uh, nice and soft yet, nice and pliable. The seat, I can almost guarantee, is the original uh, vinyl seat that came in this car. Definitely the original headrest that came in this car. Um, it, it's just an original seven, uh, 69 uh, uh, Nova that uh, I don't really see anything in this car that uh, indicates that anything's been changed. The door panels show a little tiny bit of patina, a little tiny bit of wear. The same thing from getting in and out of the seat. A little bit from where your hand was on the steering wheel here. Apparently this gentleman drove like this. Um, lens is absolutely clear as can be with the uh, speedometer. It shows 75,000 miles, which I could actually believe would be actual miles on this car, judging from the, uh, all the indications of the uh, exterior and interior appointments of this vehicle. Uh, original type Delco radio in it. It does have a little tiny crack on the plastic underneath the radio. Um, I don't think you'd want to replace it. I wouldn't know why, but there is a little tiny crack there. Other than that, I can't find a single thing in the interior. Uh, the carpeting is still nice and black the way it should be. Door panels are nice. Uh, a couple little scuff marks on the uh, driver's door getting in and out. The steering wheel's not cracked or broken anywhere. Headliner's fine as can be, dashboard, everything on this car indicates it to be all original and it's a fantastic, fantastic find for 1969 uh, SS style Nova. And it's available here at Hangsters at a really, really nominal price. Okay, we're in hot, steamy Daytona Beach, Florida underneath our 1969 SS style Nova. Great car underneath here. It's as nice underneath as it is on top. This car is really amazing. Totally amazing. The originality that's involved in this. Um, front drum brakes. Drums in the rear also, which we'll show you. But the drums are finned in the front. Heavy duty. Sway bar has new bushings on it. The steering box is the original power steering box on it. Tie rod ends, everything appear to be nice and fresh looking, not brand new, but pretty fresh looking. Original cooling lines for the transmission. It even even has the original heat riser still on the exhaust manifolds. 700R tranny in it. Uh, two inch exhaust coming off the stock cast iron headers. Big dent in the oil pan here. I don't know how that happened. Somebody ran over someone's lawnmower or something, but there is a dent in the oil pan. Certainly doesn't hurt the function of the vehicle, but I just want you to know that there is a dent there. You can also see there's no leakage or seepage from it either. No remains uh, leakage, no transmission leakage. Everything is dry as a bone under here. Subframes are absolutely gorgeous on this car. Not even any jack marks on them anywhere. Car still retains its original splatter type uh, sound deadener rust proofing or whatever you want to designate it as, but it still has the original uh, sound in there with it. Functional parking brake, which is still the original one also. Rocker panels, floor pans, everything original in this car, not replaced ever, ever. Original fuel line, original brake lines, and there's nothing wrong with them. There's no reason to replace them. A waste of money, a waste of time. Floor pan structural supports are still all intact and very, very, very nice. Again, two-inch exhaust system going back toward the uh, uh, Dynamax, uh, two brand new Dynamax uh, mufflers on the back here. Uh, we're halfway through the car, and other than a ding in the oil pan, that's the only thing I can tell you that's under this other than a perfect chassis. Okay, rear pans, same as the front floor pans. No marks, no one has inadvertently jacked it up on the floor pans, which happens quite often. Uh, but this car does not have any marks on the uh, uh, subframes or the floors anywhere, not that I can see anywhere. Rocker panels the same way, floor pans pitch welded to them, uh, just the way they were from the factory. Check this out, it still even has the uh, weights that are attached to the front of the uh, rear monoleaf springs. Those were there to uh, cancel out any harmonics when you hit a bump so that the spring doesn't pick up any oscillation and give you an aftershock from hitting a bump. That's what those were there for, to cancel out the spring harmonics. Uh, again, Dynamax mufflers, brand spanking new, 
spring purchase in the back are just as perfect as can be. Front spring hangers are nice. Subframes are absolutely gorgeous on this vehicle. There's no marks or anything on them anywhere. Uh, in fact, it has a set of aftermarket heavy duty shocks in the rear. Drum brakes in the rear the way they came. Uh, 10 volt Chevy rear which is standard for this vehicle. Gas tank has a little tiny bit of a nerf right here. Whenever they ran over the mower and put the dent in the pan, they gave it a little scuff on this side too. Uh, the uh, pinch welds for the uh, drop downs onto the uh, quarter panels are still just as fresh as they were when they were put on in 69. This car is all original tin on top and underneath. Uh, structural support across the back, same way you can still see every pinch weld evident in the, uh, uh, the support. This car is as new underneath as you could possibly, possibly hope to find uh, a 69 Nova. Uh, it's, it's not a total restoration. It doesn't even appear to be a repaint on top. The undercarriage still retains all of its originality. I don't know where you can find another one in this condition, totally rust free, for the price that we're going to sell it to you here at Hangsters. You're going to absolutely love this car.